I've been meeting Horst Weidenmüller from K7 during other projects. And at some point, he shared his idea of Plundophonia with me and asked me whether or not I would be interested in making a piano works. Honoring uh, hundreds of years of piano music by uh, taking those pieces as an inspiration and creating new music. The first step into Plundophonia was choosing the composers. So Horst invited Hanya Rani um, to kind of help us curate the right pieces to find the right material. She came up with a set of 50 tracks that she felt were most influential in classical piano music. It was very difficult to select only 50 pieces. First of all, I was looking for the pieces that are um, <laughs> somehow these eternal masterpieces, that is always modern, that these ideas are still fresh and they never get old. We went into my studio and recorded the bits and slices we liked. Together we would go through the, through the written music and listen to how it sounds and decide what bars and how we're going to record them. And it was about getting the music into the computer, so uh, MIDI piano basically, recording the files. I would be yelling, stop uh, this bar, uh, let's repeat this bar, uh, our left hand only, um, leave this out and maybe try an octave lower. And now can you play in your right hand that? The, making choices at that level uh, was step one into composing uh, new material. I started chopping, rearranging those uh, in the software, kind of composing, arranging, and uh, see how, how much you can play with MIDI effects and sort of dub the original uh, onto a real piano. I love the idea. Other piano, a different time, signature, which is quite nice. With the pianos and when performed properly, then uh, you can create all the dynamics and variations uh, as you go. And this piano is a piano with machinery in it, that, which makes the hammers move by itself. If you have pre-recorded MIDI files, piano will automatically play whatever you play inside the computer. I went to Hamburg, uh, connected to grand pianos to my computer, set up a proper recording studio as if we were to record a band, and I was able to record there for a week. So I created uh, tons of uh, music that now in the, in the third stage I'm going through it, listening through it, choosing uh, what takes and curating what combinations of, of pieces would be nice. In the surrounding I see electronics. My field is using technology of the day and just simply by playing traditional music with these new tools and being myself I think uh, adds uh, enough to say, hey, um, there's a new color in town <laughs> or something. There's a new color, yeah. I'm excited to see how it will translate on a stage. It will vary in speed, in intensity, in connection to the audience, to the room. For sure it will be um, uh, an evening that will be totally depending on uh, me performing it and, and, and me being in good shape. Now I'm in the middle of it and I'm really, I'm really having a blast actually. <laughs>